Hello everyone, Paul from High Tech Legion. And we will be overclocking, or shall we say performance tuning, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 680 using the EVGA precision tool to help us do it. Basically, this is a new tool developed by EVGA. They put a lot of work into this to uh, make it work with the GTX 680. A um, couple things about the 680 that you'll notice that are a little bit different. We're not going to, in a sense, performance tune it the way that we are used to performance tuning our video cards. NVIDIA has added a new feature called GPU Boost. GPU Boost is basically like a turbo boost from, from Intel, which automatically gives you a little bit more power when needed to to your CPU, but this will give you a little bit more power when needed to your GPU. If we take at a look at the EVGA Precision tool, we can see it's got a different type of a different type of a GUI. Up on the top, we have settings, and these settings basically are the same as in in the other versions. Start with Windows, start minimized. You have fan control. You have a monitoring. You have the OSD, the on-screen display, screen capture mode, profiles, of course, and of course the user interface. You could change the user interface, you could change the skin, you could change whatever you'd like to change under that. Now if we go around from the top, of course it says EVGA Precision. On the left hand side, GPU Select, it shows you what card I have in there. GPU 1, which is the GTX 680. We go down, it will sync. If you have multiple cards, it'll sync your cards for you. I have that on at this time. Adjust voltage. When you do the adjust voltage, what it does is it gives you an opportunity to adjust your voltages. I suggest personally with this card, you really don't need it. The voltages automatically adjust themselves based on the amount of power being used by the card. I will show you that when we're running a, a little bit of our demo here. Test. Basically what test does is it brings up the new EVGA OC scanner. This is made specifically for the 680 at this time. I'm not sure if they're going to be offering it on their other series of cards or not. But basically when you start your OC scanner you have different modes. If you're used to seeing OC scanner you'll notice that it does have the little fuzzy E on it uh, which is kind of like a fur mark type deal or a furry test. It will tell you which GPU you're running or testing. It'll give you the name of the GPU, the core frequencies, and the temperatures and especially your load and your fan speeds. Under the stress test, you can change it to different types of tests. You can change it from furry test to Tessie test. And the Tessie test will actually run a tessalization test. So let's go ahead and close that and then click that. Now, as you can see, it's going to do a tessalization test. Tessalation, sorry, not tessalization. Tessalation test. Then we also have a CPU burner. Now we do have a benchmark on this also, and that of course will do different tests, a Tessie test and a furry test. And if we click start benchmark, it'll go ahead and start the benchmark and it'll run it for a specific amount of time. You could, do, you could change that, and I'll show you how to do that in a few minutes. But let's go on to the NVZ, which is actually kind of like a CPU-Z but this is for the NVIDIA card and of course it tells you exactly what you're using, your GPU, this is the GK104 or graphics Kepler 104 it tells you how many shaders, what type of memory you have in there, how many textures, your device ID, the total TDP this card, total TDP is 195, operating TDP while you're gaming is about 170 It'll give you the states of the GPUs. It'll also give you line graphs or bar graphs of the uh, temperatures, the PCB temp, 
GPU load, memory load, etc., your fan speed. Now, of course, the, uh, the test is just finished, so of course you'll see that the numbers will start going down. Then, of course, we have our settings. OC scanner settings, you can select the background image that you want, full color image, display true clock speeds, play alarm when the value hits its range or is out of range. Here's your stress test settings. You can enable FXAA, enable the stress test max duration, etc. And of course, stop the stress test if you have artifacts. Up here on your Windows parameters, it'll tell you what resolution you'd be running in. Your, your, OS, your OSI color, which would be the, the color of the on-screen image. You have GPU temperature protection on here. You could set that so if your GPU gets to a certain temp, it will shut the, uh, shut the benchmark off. And of course, you have a power draw control. You also have a log file which will log your times, so will will log everything that you need to know. And the reset button. So now let's go ahead and look at our little tachometer here. Now, as I said, the GTX 680 has what they call GPU boost on it. So let's go ahead and set the default clock speeds, which will bring this back to the power target of 100%, which means that you'll run at 100% clock speeds. GPU clock offset, so we're not, we're not tuning the uh, GPU clock or the memory clock right now. <coughs> Excuse me. And now we'll go ahead to the bottom here. The bottom is a performance log. Performance log shows you the performance that you're achieving when you're running your tests or whatever you're doing and it'll tell you how much power you're using, what your GPU clock speeds are, memory clock speeds are, what your GPU usage is, memory usage, GPU voltage at a specific time, your fan speed, if we go lower the fan tachometer, so this is a good monitoring tool that you can bring up while you're, while you're making your on-the-fly changes. Also have a frame rate target that you could set. You can enable that and see what frame rates you want to achieve. And then of course profiles. I do have this profile set in here and we'll get to that in, in a few minutes. Let's click back to the performance log. Now on your tachometer, as you can see right now I'm in an idle state. So of course what this GPU is going to do, it's going to lower its power consumption, it's going to lower its voltage automatically because you don't want to waste that energy. So right now we're actually running at 324 on the megahertz of the GPU clock and the voltage is down to 987. You will notice that the voltage will go as high as I've seen it to 1.4, 1.3 while, while we're uh, running the tests and while we're actually performance tuning it. These are all sliders, power target, GPU clock offset, memory clock offset, so you can slide these to start to adjust your performance tune. Up on the right hand side we have Celsius and of course we have our fan speed. Right now I have it set to auto, you can set a fan curve and that will do the uh, based on the temperature. It'll set your fans to the different to your different parameters. Of course, the Windows startup, which is checked here. So let's go ahead and watch what happens when I start running 3D Mark 11. So we're going to go ahead and run custom. I'm going to run graphics test two. I'm going to loop it. I'm going to do. I'm going to shut off demo audio. We're actually. I'm actually doing this without sound. And of course, we're going to keep it in windowed mode. I want you to see how it runs, etc. And we're going to use a 640 by 480 screen. So we'll go ahead and click custom. Now, while this is starting up, you're going to notice that the tachometer is going to boost itself. You'll start seeing what 
Your GPU is actually set for, of course, this GPU has a uh, clock speed of 1006 megahertz. So, five or six. Uh, so while that goes up, as you can see, when it initialized, it went up to 1006. It went back down since it's not using any graphics at this time. And now here we go. So, as I said, the base is 1005, 1006, but because of GPU boost right now, and, it, and it's sensing that it needs that extra power, it's actually boosting itself 110 megahertz over the stock clock speed. And as you can see, the voltage has gone up. Our temperature is running at 63 degrees, and our fan speed right now is at 30. Now if we go ahead and click on our, mon our hardware monitor, we're going to go ahead and look at what the power is running at. Right now it's running at about 98%. It'll go up to 102 when it boosts. It gives you your, your graphics uh, clock speed and your memory clock speed. Of course, you have your temperatures, etc. Now as you can see, the line graph is, is staying pretty steady. Now one thing about this card, and one thing about the GPU Boost technology, as the card heats up, you are going to lose a little bit of clock speed. As you can see, when we were at 1100, now that I'm running and we're heating up the card, based on its power consumption and what the, G, what, what the uh, GPU clock is and the GPU memory, how much memory is being used, etc., it will lower your clock speed, so you will have a little bit of a variation. Power target. Now what we can do is we can adjust that GPU boost. So I'm going to go ahead up to 15, 115%, which means that I'm going to try to give it a boost of about 15% 15, 15 more than what 100 is. So if we keep an eye on our power meter, we'll notice that it will go up and down Right now we're at 100, 101. Based on based on what the uh, what the GPU needs power wise, that's when it'll go up and down. I mean, you could take this slider and boost it as high as you want. It'll go up to 132. And of course, that's going to give you a boost anywhere over your your stock range. Again, remember, as the card heats up, the less you're going to see. So let's go ahead and start performance tuning the, uh, we'll go ahead and set this at 115. I'll click apply. Go to the GPU clock. We'll go ahead and start, uh, just start bringing it up a little bit. You know, not anything fancy, but you can do this on the fly with the precision tool. That's what makes makes it so great. Right now, you can see that I boosted it up a little bit. You can see what my GPU clock speed is. It's 1139. I'm at 105% on my power consumption. So now let's go ahead and bring it up a little bit higher. Let's click Apply. Now, as you can see, we went up to 1250, 1262. I'm running at 112% sometimes, so it's giving me more of a boost. Let's go ahead and adjust the, the memory clock offset a little bit more. Click Apply. Everything is on the fly here, so now you can keep an eye on 3D Mark while you're running it to make sure that you're not getting any tearing, any ripping, any artifact, whatever, while you're doing this. As long as you're running 3 d Mark in windowed mode, you can do this. If you're running it in full screen mode, it's not going to happen. It's, it's just going to stop itself. But you can, see our, you can see our fan speed has increased automatically. Our GPU temperature is going up. So let's go ahead and I'm going to click on my profile and I'm going to show you what this this GTX 680 can actually do. At these settings, stable, no tearing, I've ran this, I've looped 3D Mark for two hours, I could get 115% on my power target. That's where I feel comfortable with it. 
My GPU clock offset is 180 megahertz, and I've got a memory clock offset of 550. So basically we're overclocking 100 hertz and the memory clock is set uh, 550 megahertz over its stock speeds. Now, what this is doing is, now you might be saying, well, how is this working? When I adjust my offset speeds, what it's going to do, it's going to raise the bar here from whatever the base clock speed was to whatever megahertz you change it to on your offset. So add 180 megahertz. So basically, we've got just say, let's say a common number is 1,000. So right now, I have the clock set to 1180. So it's 180 megahertz overclock. As you can see what GPU Boost is doing, it's bringing me up to 1277, 1263, my voltage is at 1.15 and let's go ahead and click on this and we can look at our graph if you look at the graphs you can see where we're going I'm at 114 percent at times 115 percent so my so my uh, my power my power tuning is actually working for my boost okay sorry about that uh, had a little bit of a sneezing fit so I had to stop the video there for a second but uh, Let's go ahead and take a look at the performance as I was saying. You'll notice that right now as it runs at those clock speeds, you'll see how much of a boost I'm getting in real time. You'll see what the uh, GPU clock is, is staying at. Of course it'll go up and down, but if you look I'm at 116%, 112%. This is my memory clock speed. My GPU usage, which is 890 anywhere from 98 96 percent GPU voltage fan speeds and of course the fan tachometer on how many RPMs you're getting so technically that's a quick simple way to performance tune your GTX 680 using the EVGA precision tool Hope you enjoyed the little tutorial. Thanks for watching. We'll see you the next time. Stay thirsty, my friends. Bye-bye.